Squirt, squirt up on that scene. Hop out engine looking clean. All right, what's up guys, Poison here, and I'm back from our EG's review. I'm back doing more vape videos. I promise you, gaming videos will be back. I'll start getting back into that. I'm actually playing Payday 2 right now because I have a lot of Payday 2 content to do. Um, got gun reviews, got fucking high store reviews. I got all that stuff to do just with time. Hopefully, I can finish leveling up today and I can get recording. But either way, in the meantime, we're back from our vape review. So, as last time and per last two times, I think, I got my fucking, uh, why do I always forget the name of the Crossbones V by Deathwish Mods. Today, that's not the point of the video. We're actually here reviewing the flavor shop Burt Nana. So, company should be the flavor shop if you want to focus. Come on, come on. You're not going to focus, are you? Either way, the flavor shop Burr Nana. You get your little things here. You get the fact that it is zero nicotine, 70 VG, 30 PG. Good clouds. Um, I also gotta remember that when I do these vape videos, I always try to give a positive. Even if I don't like the juice, I still try to be positive about it. And I gotta remember that, hey, this is my channel. I'm doing my honest review. I don't get these e-juices for free. I actually have to end up paying for them. I buy all my e-juice. I get it, I got this through Vape Box, but still, I bought it. I'm not gonna be, you know, giving out good reviews. And even if I got some for free, I'm still not gonna be like, this is the best juice ever. I honestly gotta be, you know, honest, and I have to tell you guys if something's good or not, and if I recommend it or not. The past few e-juices, even some I didn't like, I still was like, yeah, I still recommend it. No. Um, this flavor is a huge example, and yeah, I just have to be honest with it. So, first off, if you notice, that's some pretty dark e-juice. This juice is dark. But, thankfully, with it being dark, it doesn't gung up your coil. It's not too bad. You know, a little bit of a brownness to it, but it's not bad. It hasn't fucked up the coil. It still is usable, still good. I could probably still run one. I think next e juice, I'm probably gonna have to build new coils, but this still has the e juice, or this still has the same coils from two juices ago. So I went through Triple Red, I went through Coffee Donuts, and now I'm going through Burnana by Flavor Shop, and it's withstand pretty good. Point three ohm coil running, you know, uh, what twenty four gauge can't fall around. I don't even know the measurement. I just grabbed the biggest uh, screwdriver I have. Um, let's talk about the juice though. So like I said, it's dark, you know, but it's not terrible. It's not fucking up coils. It's just a dark e juice. Um, Burnana. So here's the fun part. I can't find this e juice anywhere online. I've tried looking up the flavor shop. Can't find it. Try looking at the Flavor Shop Banana. Can't find it. Even go to www.theflavorshop.com. Guess what? They don't have a website anymore. So it's probably for a good, you know, it's probably a good thing that you can't get this anymore because I'm not a fan of this e juice. So, Banana. You were wondering what the fuck is that? Well, like I said, I can't find information anywhere. Looking it up right here in the, um, in the little thing you get from Bait Box, you know, curated for you. Banana by the Flavor Shop. Classic Banana Foster. $15 for a bottle. 70 VG, 0 milligram, 60 milliliter, uh, because you like baked good flavor, so. Oh my god, that was a terrible idea, yeah. So, as you see, you're also seeing what the next flavor is going to be, churro cereal by 1UP, but Burnana Flavor Shop, classic Banana Foster. Here is what I'm going to say. I do not like banana flavored vapes. Um, I took it to work, I let my coworkers hit this vape, you know, everyone loved it, everyone's like, oh, it's good e-juice, you know, it tastes really good, like good banana. Um, one of my coworkers is like, this tastes more like a bruised banana than like a normal banana, it's really sweet, I'm like, yeah. I don't like banana flavored vapes, I don't like banana flavored drinks, I love bananas, but I do not like banana flavored items. Like, I don't like banana Laffy Taffy, I don't like banana flavored candy. I'll eat them, but it's not something I like. And unfortunately, that translates over to vapes as well, I don't like banana flavored vapes, I don't like grape flavored vapes. Um... I'll still vape them, I'll still tell you if they're good, but I'm sorry, I can't recommend this juice. And like I said, have fun trying to find a bottle of this, because their website's gone. I can't find anyone who sells it. Um, I'm saying, good. This isn't a good juice. I'm not a fan of it. I wouldn't recommend it. It's got decent clouds. Decent clouds, decent flavor. Another weird thing is it's not perfumey it's not too strong it's not like the fragrance isn't bad but for some reason when i vape this if i hit it a lot i start to cough no other e-juice does it to me weed doesn't even do it to me but just even when i hit um like disposables with nicotine it 
this just makes me cough, and it's not like a nicotine cough, it's a, it's just like a flavor cough, I don't know why, no other e-juice has done it to me, just this one I know, so I'll hit it, you know, I'll be at work, I'll be fucking vaping, oh, I don't got a car to work on, <coughs> it just makes me cough, like I said, nothing else does it to me, I could go smoke a joint, I could go smoke a blunt, I could go hit my bong, I'm fine, but just this juice, it's just fucking gain to me. Um, this juice will not go to waste because, as you can see, that's still a full bottle. Um, usually, by the time I do my YouTube videos, I fill this up twice, and that's when I start doing my videos. I've only filled this up once, and I'm already like, I'm fucking done. I do not want this juice. I want it gone. Like I said, thankfully, everyone at work vapes. Fucking one of my coworkers has a cart that he uh, puts all his e juice on. I'm just gonna go leave this next to that cart, or leave it on the cart. Anybody wants it, they can come vape it. But, yeah, I just gotta be honest, Banana by the Flavor Shop, it's not a good juice. I don't like it. I don't recommend it. Kind of glad you can't find their website. Kind of glad you can't buy this juice anymore. I'm sorry, Flavor Shop. I'm pretty sure I've had more of your juices before. Actually, I have had Flavor Shop juice before. Um, I forgot what I had by them. I had a Fruity Vape, and the last I remember is I put it in my, uh, what is this? The Hell Vape Plus? This is the one, right? Yeah, I put it in my Hellvay Plus, my little tank, the Destiny RTA. I remember Flavor Shop, I put some of their juice in here, and it was really good, but I don't know. Banana, y'all fucked up. Y'all dropped the ball. Y'all did. It's just not good. Sorry. If you've had this juice and you liked it or you had similar experiences, let me know. Um, Kind of sucks I can't find Flavor Shop anymore. I would be down to try more of their e-juice. Just... This is the fuck up. This is not the good one. Um, another thing, I have one more vape box to review. After I'm done with vape box, I'm going to start going to local vape shops and I'm going to start buying like X amount of money worth of e-juice and I'll start doing random reviews on those. Um, if you guys have any juice you want me to review, leave it down below. I'll try to track down some bottles. Um, hopefully, I can track some in person. Uh, if not, I guess I have to ship it to my house. I don't know. Last I heard, Sacramento County banned um, vape flavors. So I'm not sure how that fucking works to get shit shipped out here to me. Worst comes to worst, I have it shipped up to the people in Roseville and I just go pick it up out there. Uh, it's only a 10 minute drive, but yeah. Let me know if you guys have any juice you want me to try. If not, then I'm just going to go with my plan and just start buying random juice. Until next time, guys, this is going to be the last hit I ever take of this fucking shoot, of this juice. And. Honestly, when you put fresh juice on your coil, it tastes even worse. You got to let it fucking sit and it tastes way better, but not good enough for me to give it a good recommendation. I'm sorry, Flavor Shop, if you're watching, if you're even still around. I'm sorry, this wasn't a good juice. Don't recommend it. I got to be completely honest with you guys. Last vape, thank God. So guys, until next time, have an awesome day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.